Well, I know old Mark Sherman's going to troll my page. He does it all the time. It doesn't matter. It's already been a proven uh, situation. But I'll tell you what, Sherman, while you're watching this video, you're becoming more and more exposed every day. Every day. People are coming out the woodworks where you owe them money or a radio and you won't get back to them or you give them some kind of excuse. Let me tell you something. If you're so highly qualified and certified, why ain't you trolling the uh, ham bands, man? Why ain't you uh, dealing with that? Oh, that's right. Because CB radio is a quick way to make an easy buck. Yeah, you can talk all this elaborate bullshit to these truck drivers that don't know any better. Get them to watch your crap because you bought some equipment and this and that and the other. And, oh, he must know what he's doing. <laughs> you fucking snake doctor peddling your snake oil, motherfucker. I got news for you right now, buddy. More people in this on this entire planet know who I am than ever even thought about hearing about you, dog. And that's a fucking proven fact. I guarantee it. Okay? Now, you, you sit out here and you just constantly say the same thing because it's beginning... You're exposing yourself. Do you, do you realize that? You're exposing yourself because you are selling this thievery so hard you're beginning to sound like a car salesman you are completely stuck on this one track mind of convincing the next motherfucker to send you money or, or do business with you some kind of way it's it's sickening and you know i gotta tell you I gotta tell you, the other day when the state of Florida was going through devastation, uh, the 11 meter operators were trying to offer every little bit of help they could to organize some sort of communication to help these people. And you know you heard them. You know you heard him, you little slimy son of a bitch. And you just kept on with your thievery banter out there and blocked their communication. Now, I guess you could say, well, it's a Mother Nature thing. It's not my fault. They begged you to shut the hell up. DX is rolling. Fine. Cool. But when people are losing their lives and their property and their livelihoods and you're out there still trying to fucking steal a buck from somebody, there is a special place in hell for you, Mark Sherman. A special place of never-ending torment where you will beg for death and not find it. That's right. That was the sorriest, most fucked up thing that you've done so far. Now, you can say stealing a bunch of money from people is sorry and fucked up, and it is. But when you do what you did the other day, during a natural disaster, people, people are seeing this, man. People are fucking seeing this, man. And they're taking notice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm Mark Sherman. I got NC. I think that's quit. Man, I think you want more. I think I'm the best of everyone. You go to anybody else, you fucking stupid. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. <clears throat> All right, man. Mark Sherman. You're a crook. You're a thief. You're a scam artist. <clears throat> and it's coming out, man. It's coming out, man. Whether you want to admit it or not, you call people narcissists. You're the biggest narcissist 
that ever was on 11 meter. You're sick, dude. You're sick. Same thing every day. You're living in a camper, whether you're at the KOA over there in fucking Lordsburg or over there at the Coach Light and uh, Las Cruces, it really doesn't matter because the fact of the matter is, dude, you have no wife. If you have any kids, they don't have anything to do with you. You're a single over middle-aged dude in the middle of the desert in a camper trying to sell this shit, man. You're trying to sell it. If you were worth a fuck, if you were worth half of a fuck of whatever services you're trying to provide, you wouldn't have to be on the radio begging for it every day. Putting down all these technicians and shit, man. Putting down everybody that doesn't go through you. <laughs> man. You're being exposed daily. And pretty soon it's all going to be over for you. You're on your way out, Mark. You're on your way out. I can see it. I've been doing this for a long, 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 long time. Long time. Now, I don't give a fuck how long you've been doing it or what you think you know, because apparently you're good at selling snake oil, man. <clears throat> you are good at selling snake oil. That's it. And it's showing like a motherfucker, dude. Now, you can sit out there <clears throat> and believe in your own mind that you have something over that. Well, you don't, buddy. You don't. You don't. You're no more intelligent than your average fucking retard. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if you were, you would have a home to go to. You would have a legitimate business with a storefront and not be chased off everywhere like you've been all of this so-called thieving career, okay? I can buy every mechanic tool that there is. I can put it on videos and say, if you don't have this tool, then you're not a mechanic, and I'm the only one in the world that's got this calibrated tool that's going to make your mechanical equipment work the way it's supposed to. I can say that. Doesn't make it doesn't mean it's true, man. Doesn't mean it's true. Doesn't matter. What is calibrated? What does calibrated mean? What's it mean? What does calibrated mean? I don't think you really know what calibrated means. Calibrated is when something is supposed to be set to work at a certain parameter, okay? Now, scales have to be calibrated every so often. Now, you talk about how your equipment is calibrated. Why aren't you showing us certificates of every three to six months where you send it off and have it calibrated. If you know anything about the word calibrated, you will understand that things don't stay under calibration very long. Because if they have to be calibrated, that means they are going to get out of calibration at some point. If they if they never come out of calibration, they would never have to be calibrated. So, where's their certificates of... Uh, your oscilloscopes and your your spectral analyzers where you you constantly keep them updated in calibration so <clears throat> you don't know within a slap dog fuck if your shit is out of calibration or not because you can't prove that you've sent it off to have it recalibrated calibration 
is where you have to constantly have it calibrated. And you're not. You're, you're just not doing it. You're just using these words and these fancy terms to try to sell your fucking snake oil. Everybody knows that, man. Everybody knows it. It's coming to fruition. That's right. That's right. So, I hope you take the time to troll this video. And now you can take this video and make animal noises with me and redo it because you're not working on radios. <clears throat> you wouldn't be scamming videos and uh, having your way with them if you were that damn busy. That's lemon juice and grapefruit juice and some sea salt. Oh. Vitamin C blast, baby. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> you're looking for the next sucker to send you some money or send you a radio. And then you keep it all. And you get out here with your banter, which is the same thing every day. You are driving this home like a preacher waiting to pass the offering plate. You're not fooling nobody, dog. You ain't fooling fucking nobody, Mark Sherman. You are the scam artist. You are the thief. It's showing like a motherfucker, Mark. <laughs> Uh, Mark Sherman, 163 hard drive, rrr, 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 rrr. man, oh man, dude, you are fucked, and people like myself are going to ensure that you continue to stay fucked, and we're going to drive, we're going to hard drive you out of this goddamn hobby. We don't want you here, man. This is a hobby. This is where people make mistakes and they learn from them. This hobby is not meant for you to come in here and try to give us some God platform of where you have to be. You don't have to be anywhere in this hobby, man. And you definitely don't fucking need to be here. Because you're a thorn in everybody's side right now. We're going to drive you out, man. We're going to pluck your ass out. Mark Sherman, it's a matter of time, buddy. Matter of time. When you get kicked out of your CB shops and you're only in an RV now, do, do you not see the downward spiral? Do, do you, not, you, you don't see that? Why aren't you at the top of Trump Towers right now? Because I am the technician God. All those who come unto me will be doing it correctly. But you went, you went from a, some CB shops to an RV in the middle of the desert where nobody knows where you are. down man you're not going up you're going down you're going down you're on your last ditch effort to grab as much cash as you can before you're going to have to get a regular goddamn job somewhere mark anyway i'm going to turn my radio back up i got the hf rig going over there and uh, listen to that while I'm doing this. I'm going to turn this thing back up and I'm going to do my thing. Top Gun 1, 2, 3. Deuces. Watch out for 163 hack job. He's a thief. <laughs>